Uh, what, what actually did you see? What kind of patterns did you see? Um, well, like I said, I've done this a lot. So in the beginning when I used to do this, I used to see lots of patterns. This time it was just like flickering lights. I didn't really get that much with patterns. Um, uh, I was just conscious of things changing, going deeper into a state of consciousness. But I, I didn't really see any patterns in this time. Okay, thank you. Uh, Well, one, one of the things that I, Rich is asking me whether anything happened, what I saw was a, a lot of balance, both highs and lows, and the ability to shuttle back and forth between them. And that's, that kind of balance is really important. There's, there's a bias in biofeedback toward voluntary self-regulation. Um, this is not, does not follow that model. It's still biofeedback person gets information about their biological states, but this is not something that they uh, intellectually um, have to participate in. Some people will fall asleep. They're, it's really enjoy the light show kind of a thing. What it does is gets them unstuck enough so that they can participate in some kind of therapy to, uh, for their own enhancement and self-regulation. Whereas before, when they tried to do that, they'd be butting their head up against the wall. The amount of blockage in terms of portions of the spectrum uh, varies with the injury, varies with who they are and what their personality styles were beforehand. There's a tremendous amount of variation in where people get blocked or frozen or locked into. So uh, what I do is I spend a minute going up, a minute going down, a minute going up, and I, I cycle a minute. If I, and once they begin to really get comfortable, and I can bring the lights up to full brightness, okay, then I can begin to play. At that point, then I begin to extend the, the, the stimulation range into areas where they haven't yet gone. And um, generally, I keep them, uh, I will decrease the time spent at any particular setting, say plus or minus 5% or plus or minus 50% uh, toward the end because it's disruptive to change going from positive to negative. And what I try to do is to find any kind of possible rigidity or any kind of possible lurking problem. So boosting high intensity, making rapid changes from high to low, uh, pulling them into frequency slots where they're unfamiliar. If I can't get them upset by doing this, then they're ready to take on deep psychotherapy. <laughs> I have not done any kind of comparison uh, of this kind of procedure with a number of different uh, problems, whether it be uh, um, uh, autism or hyperactive behavior, anything like that. I haven't taken this into the area of addictions yet. And we're sticking with closed head injury, depression, post-traumatic stress for controlled studies. Um, and uh, we'll branch out as the research supports us doing it. Okay. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to call that on the, in the interest of uh, um, expediency here and getting on with the show. So thank you, and I'll be available for some questions throughout the afternoon.